Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do my Joe Malone collection. I've been wanting to do a Joe Malone collection for a while. Um, I put myself on a hold for a couple months right now because I do have a lot of Joe Malone, and I really want to use a lot of stuff up. Not a lot, but I want to use some stuff up before I get some stuff in. There's not a lot of newness right now, so and I want to save my money for the newness. Now... You will see me holding stuff up in the video, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of questions about it, so I'm just going to say it now. I got a new tattoo. Um, it's my fourth one. It's the New York City skyline. So if you want to take a look uh, <laughs> at that. So that's my new tattoo. It's the New York City skyline. So I just figured you guys will be seeing that a lot in the video. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I do want to put a disclaimer Fragrances are my passion. I absolutely love fragrances. Have been loving fragrances for years, and this is what I like. I love fragrance, and obviously my collection is not like other people's collections, but I am a fragrance enthusiast. It's what I do for a living. It's, you know, I mean, I love it. I love fragrance. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, a couple things were gifted to me by the company, and I will make sure to include and let you know what that is as well. So let's go ahead and start with the non-colognes. So the first product that I have is one of their reed diffusers in lime, basil, and mandarin. Does not want to focus. This is lime, basil, mandarin. It's almost out. This is in my upstairs bathroom. I absolutely love Joe Malone Reed Diffusers. Joe Malone Reed Diffusers are so nice. Um, they have the little bow on them. They don't come this way. I take it out. It comes. The reeds come attached with the bow. But I just take it out and put it there, and I think it looks so sophisticated there. I have it on my bathroom. I would not get this for a bedroom. It's not going to do much of anything in a bedroom. But in a bathroom, it does wonders. I flip the reeds about once a week. I got this probably in November, and it's almost out now, and it is the first week of February. So it's lasted a long time. You don't have to do anything, but like I said, I flip the reeds every Sunday. Just flip them. It's okay. I also have red roses downstairs, um, which I did not bring up, but red roses is gorgeous too. Lime basil and mandarin. Lime basil. Lime basil and mandarin getting a little reddish right there. Lime Basil and Mandarin is their signature fragrance. It's a super, super fruity scent, but it has a pepperiness from the basil, which really tones it down. It's their signature. They spray the tissue paper with it. It's one of the really, really popular fragrances. And I love it because that's what the boutique smells like, and it makes my bathroom smell like the boutique. So that is the Rediffuser, and I believe it's $85. I want to say $65 or $85. I could be wrong. All the links will be in the description. Next, I, sorry, I have uh, the Geranium and Walnut Body Scrub. Now, I am almost out of this scrub. I use it only on special occasions because I do know this was $55, so it is pricey for a body scrub. So I only use this when I go to the theater. If I go to a wedding or something very fun or something very, you know, dressing up, really want to sloth off the dead skin and really want to have my fragrance last all day, the fragrance of the Geranium and Walnut Body Scrub is super light. It almost smells like fresh dirt is what I like to describe it as fresh dirt and as you can see in here it's super gritty it's very gritty but that's what I love about it that it is that gritty so when you scrub it on your body it also lathers up so you only have to do this one step you don't have to use a shower gel or a soap or anything and you scrub it off but the formulation is specially designed to go with every Jo Malone fragrance so you don't have to worry about putting a body moisturizer on I do and then you can just put the body why is this not focusing there we go. You don't have to worry about putting the body moisturizer on. You can if you want, but it's made to go with every fragrance. So that's the Geranium and Walnut Body Scrub. I don't want to spend a lot of time on the colognes as much because I have a lot. 
Next, I have three of the hand and body wash. This is the Red Roses Body and Hand Wash. I use these as a hand wash um, sitting by my basin of my sink. I know that's kind of wasteful because it's just a hand wash, but I feel like it's just a pick-me-up in, in your day. Now, these are the old-style bottles. They don't have the brushed um, uh, stripes on them. They do now. They do have that. And these red roses was gifted to me by the company. I believe it's a blend of seven roses with lemon. It's a gorgeous scent. I get compliments on it all the time it's a fantastic scent very very fresh for the bathroom and as you can see it's almost out and this is in the same bathroom downstairs that the red roses hand and uh, um, diffusers in and that was gifted to me by the company this is wood sage and sea salt and this was gifted to me by my friend for my birthday last year i absolutely love wood sage and sea salt it's one of my favorites for joe malone um, once the Red Roses is out, I'm actually going to put this in. I used it because my birthday was in March. I saved it for the summer, and obviously I did not use that much of it. It's now winter now, so I'm going to save this for summer again because it's just very, very bright. It's the only Jo Malone fragrance that actually does not have any floral notes in it, which is actually pretty interesting. I love it. Very, very fresh, salty sea air from the beach. Awesome. Then... Blackberry and Bay. This was actually my first ever Jo Malone purchase. I purchased, I'll explain, I'll show you everything that I purchased. And as you can see, it's still not down. I wanted to save it. I don't know what I'm saving it for, but I love the bottle. I think it smells so good. Blackberry and Bay is so unique as well. It's, it's, you can smell the bay leaf, but it's not like spicy. The blackberry is fruity. It's one that you really have to smell for yourself. A little perfumey. It's gorgeous. Then I have two candles. One is Nectarine Blossom and Honey. And I actually finished this up, as you can see. And I have my samples in there. I don't know why some are upside down and some are regular. But I keep all the testers, all the samples that I get when I go to the boutique. And I think that looks really, really nice like that. And this was also gifted to me by the company, the Nectarine Blossom and Honey. Whoop. Then I have the Oud and Bergamot candle, which is part of the Intense range. This label does not want to show up. There we go. Mm, it's still not showing up, but it's Oud and Bergamot. And I put the little um, bow on top. It's been burning nicely. Um, Oud and Bergamot, I actually do not own in a, a fragrance. So it's really nice to have this in a candle. I burn this in my living room when company is over because it's different. It's very different. It's unlike any other fragrance I've ever smelled. Oud is a type of wood. It's a spiced wood, and I love oud. Oud is one of my favorite fragrances in a cologne. And I feel like guys who wear oud smell so good. Like, it just smells so good. And the bergamot is an Italian orange. So, an Italian citrus fruit, which is why you're going to get that citrus with that woody cologne and it just blends perfectly i could see myself purchasing the cologne eventually but for now the candle is fantastic like i said i have not burned a lot of it um only when company comes over in the living room and it's gorgeous and they always compliment on how great it smells next onto the body cremes i have six body cremes the first creme is nectarine blossom and honey and this was a gift as well from the company older style packaging as you can see it does not have the stripes like the new packaging and this is my first ever one as less than halfway i use these i only use the body crumbs on special occasions nectarine blossom and honey is so so sweet it's actually one of my t uh, former teachers mrs fry if you're watching hi mrs fry this is her absolute favorite fragrance i'm gonna put some on it smells so good it's sweet and fruity but it has the floral from the blossom of the nectarine because it's nectarine blossom it's not the fruit nectarine honey is what's going to make it really this is like washing me out let me see if i can tilt this this way there we go and it's the honey really makes it sweet all these fragrances are hard to describe because you have to smell them in the store another thing about joe malone is they're made to layer so if you love nectarine blossom and honey Try spritzing it with Blackberry and Bay. That's why I bought the duo together, because it smells so great. This one is another older style bottle, and this is Blue Agava and Cacao. 
which I believe they're just continuing. I'm not exactly positive. And the cream is actually a rich cocoa cuddler. It almost came right out on my keyboard. This smells so good. I've this is a scent that I've always wanted, but there's always different ones that I want a little bit more. So it's just hard to justify. But I finally did it and bit the bullet. Um, agava is very similar to honey. It's very sweet. And the cacao is like a cocoa, but it's not the sweet chocolate. It's the cocoa, the cacao tree. So it still has that little bit of sweetness from cocoa, but it's the tree note and it's gorgeous. It's sweet. And I feel like this would be a great scent for Valentine's Day with that chocolate. Then we have a new Jo Malone fragrance, Mimosa and Cardamom in the new packaging. Mimosa and Cardamom is interesting. When you first smell it, people are going to be put off by it and say, it smells like baby powder. It smells like an old lady scent. You have to wear it to enjoy it. When you put this on, it instantly smells powdery. Because mimosa is a powdery floral. Cardamom is a spice. So as it sits on the skin, as it layers with the skin, you're really going to develop the richness of the fragrance. And that's why I love it. It's become spicy. It's a perfect scent for winter. And these are glass, by the way, which makes them so luxurious. Then another famous Jo Malone fragrance is Pomegranate Noir. Pomegranate Noir, I strictly wear around holiday because it reminds me instantly of the holiday. It's spicy with patchouli. It's sweet with a pomegranate. And it's just a beautiful blend. I actually had this in a diffuser a long time ago, ran out. Um, feel like I wouldn't buy that again because I strictly like this for the holiday. I might purchase this in a candle though, because I feel like the candle would be perfect. Then I have the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body Creme. I've talked about that fragrance already. And then I also have the Red Roses in the Body Creme, which I've also talked about already. Now onto the fun stuff, the colognes. Now the reason why they're called colognes and not perfumes is because it's a lower grade of fragrance. It's not an eau de parfum. It's just, it's basically an eau de toilette and cologne is a unisex. Men can wear these fragrances just as well as women. Some are more feminine, some are more masculine. It just depends on what you like. I'm going to start small and work my way up. These are the little sizes. Now I did not bother putting samples in this video because samples I have so many of. The only things that I do will talk about are the sample size of the colognes because they're not the vials but they're not the full size. They still get you about like a month worth of cologne out of these so they last a long time. And the first one I have is Lime Basil and Mandarin, their signature fragrance. I talked about that before. This one is Blackberry and Bay. I've also talked about this one. And then English Pear and Freesia. I did not talk about this one. English Pear and Freesia. Um, a lot of people love this scent. It's okay for me. It's nothing, it's nothing great. I feel like it's just a scent that you would find at Bath and Body Works. A lot of people on YouTube adore this. I feel like it's maybe a little bit too feminine for me. I do find if, if I blend this with other fragrances, I like it a little bit more. Like this blended with Pomegranate Noir really is lovely. I smell the pear and I smell the freesia and then I just feel like it's just simple. It's a simple like Bath and Body Works fragrance, but it's okay. It's not for me. I do not own this in anything but this size. Next are the one ounce colognes. Um, Joe Malone is available in two sizes, the one ounce for $65 and the 3.4 ounce for $125. I prefer this size because I wear the colognes all the time and the one ounce size is just okay the only reason why i have these is they were either they were either gifted to me normally or they were limited edition the first one was pomegranate noir and this was gifted to me by the company i only wear this fragrance if i'm layering or during the holiday as you can see i'm almost out of it um this is also one i would never purchase in the 3.4 ounce size because i feel like it'd go bad before i use it because it's strictly holiday for me then we have Earl Grey and Cucumber. I love Earl Grey and Cucumber. I bought, uh, I was actually gifted this. That's why it was um, smaller size. It was not gifted by the company. It's gifted by, by a friend. 
and they got it for me because I absolutely love tea and I love cucumbers. So they saw this and I don't know why I never bought this for myself, but I will buy this for the full size in the spring. As you can see, I'm almost out of it. I wear this a lot in the spring and summer. It's very light, very refreshing. If I really don't know what I'm wearing or if I'm afraid that the people that I'm going with are not big on fragrance, or if I know they're not big on fragrance, the Earl, something like Earl Grey Cucumber or Wood Sage and Sea Salt are no-brainers. Combined, they're absolutely divine. I love them, and the people around me really love them as well. So Earl Grey and Cucumber, you get a little bit of the tea, you get a little bit of the, of the watery notes of the cucumber. Does not have the best staying power. Jo Malone does not have the best staying power. I find like I do touch up during the day, but if I'm going out for the day, it's fine. But if I'm going out for the night, I'll come home, change, give me another spritz, and then I'm out the door. Next, I have Blackberry and Bay, which was the first Jo Malone fragrance I ever purchased. Um, I will be purchasing this in a full size once this is done, and I finish the little um, travel size as well, or the tester, or the free sample size, because I absolutely love it. It's just a great overall scent. And then Lime, Basil, and Mandarin I also have in the one outside. This was also gifted to me by the company. Then I have two of the one ounces limited edition. This one is Tudor Rose and Amber. Tudor Rose and Amber is interesting. Um, it's amazing how Jo Malone has so many different rose fragrances, but they're all distinguishable. That's what I love about it. It comes in this gorgeous bottle with the red and gold, gold label as well as a red felt top. This is very amber. If you don't like amber, you're not going to like this fragrance. I'll tell you that right now. I love amber, so it just smells absolutely divine on me. I wear this around winter as well. I feel like with the limited editions though, I'm always afraid to use them because they only, most of them only come in the one ounce size. Like the new herb collection only comes out in the one ounce size. I might get the strawberry parsley. I feel like I really want that one for myself, um, but I'm holding back for now, um, and I have not used much of this. And the other one, I also absolutely, um, absolutely love. These are both from Rock the Ages, and this is Lily of the Valley and Ivy. There we go. And this one smells like just you would think. Very, very powdery floral, but very green as well great for the spring and summer. I love wearing this one. If I'm going to a museum or something like that, just fresh. I love it. It smells so good. So those were all of my one ounce colognes. Next, we're going to move on to the 3.4 ounce full size colognes. I have one limited edition. This is the Osmanthus Blossom. I believe there was three. There was Plum Blossom, Sakura Cherry Blossom, and the Osmanthus Blossom. Osmanthus Blossom is my absolute favorite out of that collection. It smells, it's another one that's hard to describe. It smells just very fresh, very, very clean, floral. Again, I have not used much of this because I feel like limited editions I don't like to use um, a whole lot of because I'm afraid I'm going to run out and then never get it again. Then I have the Blue Agava and Cacao. I purchased this and the Body Creme together. I've already talked about this one. Red Roses, I've also already talked about. I love Red Roses. It's a very slight pink color as well, which is really cool. Um, Wood Sage and Sea Salt, I've also talked about. Mimosa and Cardamom, I've also talked about. I love that one. Nectarine Blossom and Honey was also one of my first Jo Malone's. Um, I've actually never finished up a bottle of Jo Malone Cologne. Um, this is about halfway done, and I wore this like nonstop when I uh, first heard about when I first got it. I love it. And then the only one that I really have not talked about out of that collection is the white jasmine and mint. I would have never bought this, as you can see, it's like brand new. I would have never bought this, but I found that it was being discontinued, and I did really like it. Um, and then I found out that it's not being discontinued in the spray. It's just going to be discontinued in everything else. So I feel bad that I bought it. But at the same time, I'm glad I did. It's very different. It smells very minty, but it also has that jasmine, but a white floral jasmine, which is pretty awesome. Um, I feel like it's great to layer. Some people either love it or hate it. Some people wish they had it, wish they could love it. And I do. I think it smells so good. Then 
I have a jumbo bottle of the Peony and Blush Suede. Um, these are 125. This was actually limited edition for 195. It's 6.8 ounces, so it's double the size. They only do this about once a year in July and only in one fragrance. And I love Peony and Blush Suede. Always wanted it. And my sales associate at the boutique told me to wait to just buy it in this size if I really liked it because it's a better value. And I do. And I wear this scent all the time. So that's Peony and Blush Suede. And now, last but not least, I have three of the Intense Colognes. The newest member, this is the most recent purchase, is Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. I don't know why it took me so long to buy this. I've always loved it. I'm so glad I had it in my collection. Especially seeing Fleur in her wedding day wearing this. Had to have it. I mean, I love Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. I just never bought it for myself. Velvet Rose and Oud. This was the first uh, Joe Malone Intense collection that I ever bought. It's so unique. It smells just like a velvet rose. Like you smell the velvet, which is absolutely craziness to me that you can actually smell velvet, but you do. It's divine. And then one of the newer Intense fragrances is Incense and Cedrat. And I've been wearing this a lot lately. It's perfect perfect for the winter it's um you get definitely get the incense which is a very very smoky scent but the cedrat i believe cedrat's a fruit correct me if my correct me if i'm wrong i'm gonna look after this video i totally forget it's um definitely a smoky scent perfect for winter i feel like it's it reminds me of being outside by the fire with a little bit of sweetness to it it's divine but anyway that my friends, was my Jo Malone collection. I am not bragging by any means. Just want to show you what I have, why I love the company so much, and um, I hope to expand my Jo Malone collection um, in the future. Um, right now I'm working on expanding my Diptyque collection. That's what I'm really working on. Diptyque's an amazing company. I actually just um, purchased the Diptyque, the History of Diptyque book that I have been reading like crazy, and it is a phenomenal book. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you've tried Joe Malone and what your favorites are, or with this video, what you want to see, and who knows, there might be a giveaway coming up pretty soon. It's my birthday next month, and I might do a birthday giveaway. But I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye, guys.